Okay, now I have uh, popped in the a new chip, the one that Tony sent me here just uh, a week or so ago here early in 2010. And um, I uh, brought that up in the PE0FKO's homepage and as you can see now it, uh, you know, it recognized the new one. And, um, you know, the 15.12 is a version. We're going through it here, we, you know, we get the version number, everything seems to be fine. I don't know really what the serial number here does for me. Is that something I, I should have taken into consideration? I don't know. I need to go back and look at it. The Sci-5520 uh, page now has some more data here I can go in and change. I can do reset. And I get this error. 570 is not program power down. But I don't I haven't figured out what's what's going on there. I can hit reboot on it, you know, and it said it will reboot. And then if I look on the scope, what I get is I have this bit stream. And this is the same sampling as I had before, where I could see individual bits. So apparently, with this chip now, the the uh, the board rate is much higher. If we take and expand on this one, but we have the same thing here. We have a clock on the top, and we have a data stream on the bottom there. And I checked once and twice and three times at least to make sure that those aren't uh, messed up either. So that's what's going on there. And uh, if I now go in under tune here and start to change the number here, I don't see the same effect on the scope as I see with other software, that earlier version. We can uh, go down in the frequency. I don't see a data stream going here, so there's something going on here that they don't seem to to worry about it. You know, it's basically the chip just send out these bursts of of, uh, of data, no matter what I do. And uh, I um, the other thing that works, for example, I can hook up the see the, my key to it, and and um, it reads that. But you know, everything works except that. I can't get that 570 to change its frequency. So I said before, the only way I can do it is if I go in and I, I run that old, um, uh, where is it? This one, the SI uh, 570 EXE. EXE. That one um, changed the frequency when I hooked that up with a parallel port. But uh, the other thing I've done since, you know, I had this problem for a while, I have. Um, you look on on um, the chip here I actually removed that uh, interface chip that you know go from 5 volt to 3.3 .3. I took that out didn't seem to change anything but it, of course at the same time it render it useless for the parallel port I had to solder that, that one back in if I want to use that but that's okay I don't want to use that as I said before I don't have a parallel port in the machine so hey Annie any help or insight or ideas will be uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you guys.